Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Sebastian Meek and uh and I haven't been posting so far. That's because I've been busy. Plus uh lot of incidents since Wednesday and I am not gonna mention them. Because my mum will murder me. I mean true, I probably don't care. But anyway I've got some things I need to speak to you guys about. We got a subscriber back. Uh, yeah, we got a... As we know, I did that one video for my friend CB. Uh, and... It did better than what, what I thought. I thought uh, not many people would actually watch it. Uh, there's another thing what I have never talked about. This one thing, what I ha I've been desperate and crying my eyes out, desperately wanted to say. I'm doing origami lessons. Now you'd be going, ah, oh, come on, that's boring or something. Well, oh well, I I irritate. Ugh. Uh, no, um, and don't worry, I'm not drunk. <sighs> no, I'm joking. But anyway, when I say this, I'm serious. Because when I first did this channel, the first thing I wanted to do was origami. And you'd probably go, be going like, but there's probably like 5 million YouTube channels. Even ones with as many subs as you, Seb. Well, I'm still... Gonna make a couple of videos. There's not gonna be like billions and billions and billions of videos. Oh, that's spaghetti. Spaghetti. Oh. Yeah. I haven't done all the garbage ever since I posted a video on this channel. Um, most of you know that I've been doing origami for two years. And I think you all need to know how I've done this. Actually, well, it's obvious thing. Not really, I'm joking. But the way I've done this, yeah, the only possible way Thanks to my little sister. So, basically, it all started uh, just when it became Janu January, when I, when I went back to school. I, w I was about 10 to 11 years old. Uh, and I found this thing made out of paper. It was amazing. It, was, it had instructions for it, so I tried doing that. But then, Mum said I had to hurry up when I spent an hour trying to make it. 37 times I tried to make this one model. Kept screwing up. Then I asked, so then when I got to school, they saw me all crying because I couldn't complete this one thing. Because when I was little, I thought I could do anything I want. And that's when a teacher said, you know, if you do good in lessons, we can let you go on the computer, we can make a deal with you. If you be good, we'll let you on the computers every day, right? And then my mind just froze. And then my head, and then my brain was saying, you fucking kidding me? I could have done that the whole time. So then I said, Yay! So, I had to try and be good, which is the hardest part of my life. I'm going to take some more of this. So yeah, basically, I then went on a computer for uh, maybe a year. I went on it for a year, and that's how I actually became fat. 
because while going on a computer, I barely spent any time outside. Like, basically, this is what happened when I went on one. Well, actually, this is what happened before. School, exercise, school, lunch, exercise, school, school, home, exercise. And this is what happened when I learned, when I kept going on computer. School, computer, school, lunch, computer, school, home and once again except phone then i kept begging mum to pay about a tenner for all these books um i have one book my very first book just give me a sec i can probably get without getting it right it's in one of these boxes stuck this is a, my very first origami book since mum knew that I'd probably not be best at it, she got me this. I had a lot of fun with this. About 30, over 30 simple projects. So, that's when it hit me. If I do this enough, would I become the most famous in my school? Answer was, yes! I did three charities at my school, what I have told no one. I maybe said to one of them that I did one charity but it ended up being three and then I taught I taught at uh, Gosperton quite a couple of times six or so times in one year because Miss always kept coming to me and asking can you please help me with this lesson it's going to involve origami and I said yes and then when I was at Priory which I still am, I'm in year 9 now, a big boy, exactly one week is something special happening, I won't tell you, and I hope you don't tell the people. Good. So yeah, anyway, uh, afterwards I got everything I knew for origami, my paper, my books, everything. So, when I got to Priory, uh, I had to, to make deals again, except I wasn't allowed to go on the computers as uh, my deal. So, this kind of broke me in like 165 pieces. Now, you may think, why 165 pieces? Then I'd be there going, duh, because that's just about a year. I mean, it's probably more like 265, uh, I haven't counted yet, but basically that's what happened. Since I couldn't go on a computer to do origami, I was completely stuck at that moment. And I kicked off more, uh, I barely got any friends, except this one nice girl who I had a crush on, but then uh, I had a crush on this other woman. Who isn't exactly the best. And she'll probably be going right now, why aren't I the best? I was giving you mostly everything you wanted. Bullshit. You gave me enough. You gave me no care. I gave you all the care I had. And you just chucked it away. Never again. So, afterwards... Uh, I was then actually asked quite a couple of times to do lessons with my origami. So basically, so far in year nine, uh, I have been asked twice to do lessons with Miss Taylor. She actually lives uh, nearby Tallington. And basically, I've seen her twice so far. One when I went to the car boot, and one when I went to the garage with a friend of mine. She's also going to be part of the family uh, if anything happens to her dad. Because her dad's going to make it legal. So yeah. Uh, I've done lessons there loads of times. 
even do two clubs. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you later. Bye.